Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. Let's solve lead code problem number 1751, maximum number of events that can be attended. And this is the second version of the problem. In this problem, we are given an events array. And what does this indicate? This indicates that one of the event starts on day 1, end on day 2. It will end on day 2. Inclusive of day 2, it will have in 2 days, that is day 1 and day 2. And if you attend this event, you will be getting 4 credits. So that is what it indicates. Similarly, what does this indicate? This indicates that the event will be from day 3 to day 4 inclusive and it will give you a credit of 3 if you attend this event. And we are given one more variable that is k which indicates this is the maximum number of you can attend events that you can attend and where what you have to do you have to maximize your credits or the profits that you are getting from here. So how do you do this? The first thing is, if you attend this event, you won't be able to attend this event, right? Why you won't be able? Because this event is still going on on the second day and this event is already starting on the second day. So if you attend this event, this event cannot be, you cannot go to this event. So what are all the options that you have? You have to choose two events or you can just choose one event. One option is, you'll choose this event and this event. What will be the profits? The profits will be seven. The next option is, you can just choose this which will give you a profit of just 3 or you can just choose this which will again give a profit of just 1 or the first event will, which will just give a profit of 4. But which is the best among this? The best among this is 7. So 7 will be our answer. Let me give you another example. So this is the event. What does this mean? This means for example the event start on, on day 4 and it will continue on day 4, 5, 6 including of this day and you attend if you attend this what is the credits or the profits that you are getting you are getting five similarly if you look here the best choice that we will be able to make here is for this plus this event right why because attending any other event will lead us some lesser than this for example if you choose to attend just this event why because you cannot attend any event other event if you choose to attend this but if you attend these two events, you will have a profit of 9. So that will be our answer. So now, once you have understood the answer, let's dive at quick observations and we will draw the intuition. What is the quick observation that we can draw from here? Once you decide to attend an event, all the events that have a start time less than or equal to this event's end time will be vanishing. For example, you decided to attend this event. What is the end time? That is, end time is 2. So you can't attend this event and this event. That is the first intuition. Or if you decided to attend this event, then you won't be able to attend this event. That is the first and the quick observation that we can draw from this. What is the second? Once you have selected k events, for example, in this, it is given that k is equal to 1. That is, you can just attend one event. So, if you have selected this event, can you select any other event? No, right? So, if you have selected k events, then it is the time to stop. That is, you cannot further accumulate anything. What is the third observation that we have? Every event has only two options. Either we choose to attend it or we choose not to attend it. These are the only two options that is there for any two events. So, with all this observation, let's divide the problem into two two things first let's first solve this part of the problem that is once you have selected an event what happens you have to reject all the other events right for example you selected this event you should be in a position to reject all that what is that we can do can we sort this array first of all in ascending order of the starting time yes let's first start this sort this this will be first then we will be going to two three one two four 3, 4, 3 and finally we will be having 4, 6, 5. But why did we sort this? Why did we sort this is because once you have attended this event, you can just directly go to this index and skip these two elements because these two events you will never be able to attend if you decided to attend this. So the first thing that we will be doing is we will be sorting this particular given array based on their start time. Once you have sorted this, it will be very easy to pick up the next index. Say you decided to choose attend this event. Now you can directly pick an element whose start date is from 3. So how do you do this? 
we will be using binary search because we can do linear search also that is after this index we will search an element which is greater than 2 that can also be done for example but if this was 1 and 9 so how long you have to go right so linear search won't be an optimized way of doing this so we will be using sorting plus binary search what happens in binary search suppose it will come to this element and it will say it is still 2 so can we eliminate all the values prior to that so that is the idea of binary search and we will be using binary search to eliminate all the values and choose this particular index so let me share the pseudocode for binary search we'll be just initiating the left and right and we'll be going on until we find the best possible index that is the event that has a start date just greater than the end date of today's event so now we are done with the first part of the problem we have solved how we can find the next event if we choose to attend this event now what is the element of choice we have at every given event one is you decide to attend the event or you decide not to attend the event this is you decided to attend the event and the right side is you decided not to attend the event. Now let's look at what happens if you decide to attend the event. If you decide to attend this event, what happens? The first thing that happens is you will be given a credits of 4. Right? What is the second thing that happens? The second thing that happens is your index that was at 0 will go to this point. Why? Because these two events cannot be attended. Right? So that is we are changing the index here. That is the second thing that happens. And what is one more implication of attending the event? It means that you have already attended an event. So the number of events that you can attend from now on is just one. Say suppose k is equal to 2, we will pass 2 here. If you have decided to attend this event, it will be subtracted. So this is the first. Uh, if you decide to attend the event, there are very simple things. Credit will be added, the index will be changed and the number of events that you can attend further will be reduced. What if you decide not to attend this event? If you decided not to attend this event, the problem remains the same, but the only change that is going to happen is index is going to increase. Every other thing remains the same. Now, let's look at further. So what happens? Say you decided to attend the first event. Now your index got increased to three. Our problem reduced to this. You just have to choose one event from these two. Which is the best event? How will you choose that? Again, you will make a call along the same lines whether to include this event or not include this event but if you look here most of the things are recalculated that is 4 comma 1 is recalculated so how do you avoid this you can avoid this by memorizing this or storing this value somewhere for example you already found 2 comma 2 is there a need for us to find 2 comma 2 again no right so what we can do is we can store this in an array and we will call this array as dp array and what will be the length the length of this array will be in this case it will be 3 cross 5 why 3 cross 5 this will store 0 1 2 that means you have a option of available attending two events this indicates you have option of attending one event this indicates you have attended all the events and this indicates the first second third fourth and the fifth events so once you are done with this let me uh, share how this particular thing is getting filled. I would choose a top-down approach in this particular problem. Why? Because we don't want to unnecessarily fill all the values here. So I will be choosing the top-down approach only in this particular case. So what is the first case that we have applied? The first case is if we have just this, so we wanted to choose out of these two elements, right? So once we decided we won't attend this event, what is the only event that we have? We have this event. If we choose to attend this event, then what is the value that will be changing? The value that will be changing is here. That means we decided to attend the fifth event and we got a profit of 5. Yes, we got to a profit of 5. But now the number of events that we can attend has reduced to just 1. Okay. Now, similarly, other values will be filled. Similarly, this value will be filled. Finally, whatever is at this place will be our answer. So every stage, one of these values will be filled with this. So if you have both of this answer, you finally have this answer also. And finally, you will be having the entire answer which will be stored at this point. 
which will, which will be written so let me dive to the pseudo code of this problem we are doing two simple things if count is equal to 0 this means you have attended all the possible events so you will not be continuing further or if the index is greater than the events length in that case also you will not be doing anything but returning 0 because you cannot attend any event further now there is one more choice that is if the value is already present in the dp array it means that we have already computed that value for example 4 comma 2 or 4 comma 0 we already computed this value so is there a need to compute this value again no right so that is what we are doing here that is we are just returning the value and we are not recomputing next thing is we have to find the next index why are we even finding this out we are assuming that if we include this event what is the next index that we will be able for example if we attend the event one we have to skip event two and three right so that is what we are calculating here using the binary search algorithm next is the two options that we have got what are the two options one is you decide to attend the event that is this option you will be getting the profit of this event or the credit of this event and you will be doing the same algorithm but with an increased index not an increased index but with the next index and the count will be reduced by one or you have one more option that you don't decide you decide not to attend this event when you decide not to attend this event the choice is straightforward so you'll be picking the maximum of these two and you'll be passing it to the prior function finally we'll be returning the answer so there are very similar problems uh, this problem is actually a combination of two to three problems so if you are able to solve all this medium level problems these are very similar problems but if you are able to understand these problems this problem that we solved will become very easy and we have a dedicated telegram group where we'll be discussing this problem and where we'll also be conducting some free workshop i have mentioned the list, uh, link in the description so do consider joining the telegram group finally this is the share this is the code of this particular problem that is i would like to remove the events and make it a global variable why i am making this because the coding becomes very simple and it becomes straightforward we need not pass this again and again and confuse the next thing that we are doing is we are sorting the array based on the start time once we have sorted the array we are creating the dp array just to store the already calculated values all right and we are initiating all of them to minus one what does minus one indicates it indicates that we have not yet attended the this particular event finally we will be calling this particular function and the choices are very simple here the choices is if you have already made all the choices and or if you have exceeded all the events you will be stopping the second is if you have already computed you will just return that value what is this this statement this statement indicates that if you have already attended an event then you have to skip some events right so what is the next index this is what we are doing by binary search i will share the algorithm for this also but after you have done this what is the next thing the next thing is you have two options one is you will attend this event or you will not attend this event so these are the two choices finally you will be returning the value of this particular index after that this is the algorithm for binary search thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe